Buying this cartridge for £25 has possibly been the best purchase of the year for me. Um, I would go as far as to say I'm probably never going to buy another Game Boy game again. Now, I know what some people are going to be saying. I only buy PSA graded 10 or above boxed complete Game Boy games. This is for everyone. This is for those people. This is for the just the game enthusiasts. What this cartridge will allow people to do is just play every single Game Boy game that's ever existed in one place. Now, it's not some cheap, crappy Chinese multi-cart like this one. This is a flash cart. Now, it has to be said, flash carts have obviously been around for a long time. Up until now, I'd say the go-to was the EverDrive, and those things come in at about £80. There's a bunch of flash carts already out there, but I don't think any of them come in at £25, and definitely not with an SD card pre-loaded with 8 gigabytes worth of just pure Game Boy ROMs. Now this thing will work in the Game Boy Color, the Game Boy Advance, the original Game Boy, the Game Boy Advance SP, the Pocket, the DMG, the Light, everything. It works on all of them, obviously, other than the Game Boy Micro. It is a thing of beauty. Quite an interesting label there on the front. I don't really know what it's meant to be. I have seen quite a few different labels. It just says Game up at the top. It is see-through. Definitely stands out from, you know, your standard sort of cart, which we are used to. I really like it. Let's get into the review. You have to sort of wonder how they've done it so cheap. Is there going to be drawbacks of this thing? Will it save games? Well, I'm here to tell you today that it does indeed save and it does have a true massive library of built-in games. So here is 27 pages of games. 27 pages of games. And just when you think that that's a lot of games. In fact, let's just put you through. I'm going to put you through this. Let's scroll through all these pages. There we go, 27 pages, and there's more. So you have um, some foreign ones. I think these are sort of like, there's just a bunch of different genres all chucked in here. I think some of these are um, ROM hacks maybe, and then you've got some more through here. Um, so there you go, look, there's like Sonic 3D Blast. So this is the sort of stuff that you would see on these cartridges. Um, and then you've got Game Boy Color. So you can go through 16 pages of Game Boy Color ROMs. And there's a bunch more Game Boy Color ROMs here. 32 pages of Game Boy Color ROMs. Then you've got a bunch of Pokemons all centralized in one place. Six pages of Pokemon ROMs. And then we've got some more. 26 pages of more, po of more Game Boy Color ROMs. Um, and then you've got some more Game Boy ROMs. I mean, there's just more ROMs than you'll ever need on here. Um, I can't believe it. And there's just a regular... Pokemon for the regular Game Boy on here as well with four pages of Pokemon Game Boy ROMs 25 pounds and it comes with that SD card honestly I would spend the 25 pounds just for the SD card with the ROMs I don't know if you guys have ever been onto the internet to try and download ROMs before but it is an absolute nightmare and you're putting your computer at risk of viruses and whatnot now i have tried this out hence why there is a save already on here as i said it does save your games now Link's awakening is an absolutely fantastic game it was obviously just re-released for the nintendo switch Lite. if you want to have a go at playing it on the original game boy pick up a game Boy advance sp for you know 20 quid or whatever and uh, pick up this for 25 pounds and this will probably cost you the same amount as just buying the cartridge of Link's Awakening. There isn't gonna be any difference between playing this and the original cartridge. You're not gonna notice any differences um, in the actual ROM itself, unless you get a dodgy, corrupt ROM from a crappy website. Um, it is gonna be exactly the same. Basically, what it's gonna do is it's gonna have a chip on board which will store all of the hundreds of ROMs in this thing. And then when you select the, the game that you wanna play, it will just take that from the storage, put it into a more accessible flash memory, and then the Game Boy will just speak to that and then play it as if it's a regular, normal Game Boy game. So yeah, this is working absolutely perfectly. As you can see, it does take a little bit of time. It isn't gonna be an instant thing, especially for games like Pokemon. You know, Pokemon will take a lot longer to load than say Tetris. But there we go, before you know it, you're in the game. This is the Game Boy Color one. And as you can see, we're off. And there we go, we're now in the world of Pokemon. So we went from Zelda on the Game Boy Pocket to playing Pokemon on the Game Boy Advance SP. And it's as seamless as that. It does take a long time to get through the bloody text in this Pokemon game. And as I said, everything will save as normal. And you just save, you know, regularly as you would. There's no sort of like 
load and save that sort of thing. It's just going to save as you would on the official cartridge. Taking a look at the inside then, it does look very nice. Um, obviously this is a end user consumer um, you know, product. I haven't been sent a specific YouTube review unit. The company that I bought this from don't even know that I'm making a video on it. It could have been crap, um, but it just so happens that it works very well. Um, if this down the line has some more problems, obviously I'm not gonna be able to judge that right now. This thing might have like a sort of a lifespan of you know six months before all the chips go corrupt. We just don't know at this stage in time. If it does, I'm sure you are gonna get some sort of warranty. I bought this one through AliExpress. I'll try and find an eBay link in the description below. If you do get problems, be sure just to contact the seller. I obviously can't help you with that. But the SD card is unbranded. You may find you're gonna get better results putting an actual decent SD card in there. I'm sure if you just plug this into your laptop, you'll get all the different file systems um, that have been put, loaded onto here, as well as all the ROMs, and you can just copy that over to a high quality sand disk or something. I hope you guys have all enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'm not saying 100% go out and buy these things. You might wanna to stick to buying the more authentic games and you know building up a library of official games, but it's just a nice thing for some people who maybe can't afford all of those games or don't have the room for all of them. And uh, in that case, it's definitely something for you. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.